The other day I was speaking with a player who uh, was playing in the African market and he said how a lot of African teams, they lack a point guard really. They need someone to organize it because in Africa, typically they have great athletes, they have big players, big athletic guys, and they just need someone to kind of put them in the spots to get them to score. Whereas you may see somewhere like in Europe, for instance, there's bigger, there's bigger bodies there, but sometimes they need a more athletic body to help them out or some, to fit some sort of niche. And when you look at the Asian market, often what coaches will say is that, you know, the demographics of it, it's a little smaller in terms of how big the players are. So what type of traits, I guess, do they look for in a Japanese import? Is there specific things or will it really depend on the team? The trend that I've seen with almost every team is, you know, they look for bigs. They're essentially looking for bigs, they're looking for size, they're looking for athleticism, which is what most teams uh, lack in their locals, um, so to speak. You know, we uh, there are we have, you know, we we as a team, like we really focus on finding players that would fit the mold where it would essentially be one through five positionless. Anybody could play anywhere on the floor. So I would say our team is quite exceptional in that sense for our for our league specifically. But for most teams, they are looking for players that range anywhere from that three to five position, you know, that can bring size and length and athleticism. Um, so I would say bigs and p potentially b uh, wings as well. Uh, I would say that's what most Japanese teams are looking for out here, and that's what they're probably missing in their locals. Yeah, that's that's amazing insight because a lot of players, I know when I speak to them, a lot of players think that they can just apply to any market and it doesn't really matter and that they're they're good enough that whatever market they apply to, they'll get an opportunity. And the th fact of the matter is that some markets are tailored more towards certain body types and certain types of players. So for instance, the most famous example is in Asia where bigger guys, just like you're saying, just like you confirmed right now, like the three to the five, that versatile type of big who's like six, seven, six, eight, six, nine, six, ten, around there. And they can do all different types of things. So that's amazing that that's something that you've actually seen because now we actually see it. Players can see and hear it that that's actually the case in your experiences as well. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, I, I will point out the fact that there are a few guards out here as a, as imports that are playing in Japan, but you have to be exceptional. You have to be absolutely exceptional wherever you've been in the world. Like you would have, you really have to show that you are just that great of a scorer. You know, you've been on a winning team before. We, we have a couple of players in this market, for example, Trey Boyd, he's a point guard. Uh, he played in the TBL, but he also proved he could play at higher levels, uh, played in Finland, won in the New Zealand NBL league, then went to pro B and, you know, now he's landed himself here in Japan. And, you know, so it's, for me, you really just have to be exceptional uh, to be signed as a PG or a shooting guard. Uh, but like you said, I mean, and you pointed out, you, you pretty much most teams are looking for any position from three to five.